To think they'd get the better of us. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. Victory goes to House Wolford! Our next bout shall be between General Ablora and Sir Maxwell. May glory go to the victor. You don't see that battle, right? Stand back. This one is mine. <laughs> Very well. I accept your challenge. Whoever taught you, they taught you well. Though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago. Your defense is formidable. As is yours. I yield. Victory goes to Sir Maxwell! Uh, my hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> so that was General of Laura. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. He must have been holding back or something. Be like, alright, I just want to test his measure. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Woolfort. I would expect nothing less. Am I, am I not going to be able to fight this man? Huh? Where am I? Ugh. Ugh. Ah, you're awake. And none the worse for wear, considering the blow you took from Sir Maxwell. Uh, he was too strong for us in the end. Today, yes. But let us keep at our training. One day, the students will surpass their master. Let us work hard for that day, my friend. Man, I wanted to fight him. Even if it was just one of those situations where I uh, I would have automatically lost. You know what? I, I could have brought the ruckus. I could have brought some serious ruckus. Um. Sarah Noah and his stalwart allies prove their mettle against the realm's fiercest warriors before finally facing Sir Maxwell, victor of the previous tourney. After a hard-fought match, the Dawnspear emerges victorious once more. Though beaten in the end, Sarah Noah's courageous display impresses itself upon all in attendance. Any doubts concerning House Wolfort's martial might are put to rest. Thus marks an end to the tourney and the festivities as a whole. With the spirit of harmony in their hearts, the delegates of each nation make preparations for their return voyages. Art. Seeing our honored guests off shall be your last lordly duty this day. Now, I remind you. Yeah. 
It is not to be taken lightly. Worry not, Benedict. They shall be sent off with all the pomp they deserve. You take to your new role well, Lord Serenoa. As I must now take to my own. Pray, visit me at the mines whenever you have the time. Farewell, Frederica. May we never meet again. Thank you for such a productive use of our valuable time. I do so love interminable speeches and watching brutes play at war. Truly, the spirit of Glenbrook was on display for all to see. <sighs> oh, but I should watch my tongue. Wouldn't want her to go whimpering to brother. Pay my fool cousin no mind. We have work to do. Work more important than any he could hope to be trusted with. I apologize for those two. This was a fruitful day for all in attendance. I am glad to hear you say so, General of Laura. I can't believe we lost. I thought you were supposed to be one of Hyzant's greatest warriors. Our foe was a worthy one. It would be an honor to cross blades again someday. Thank you for your hospitality. Please give my regards to Lord Simon. Of course, Minister. It would seem everyone is gathered. You'll find your boats are laden with a bounty of Glenbrook's finest wares and victuals. King Regna asks that you eat and drink your fill and toast to our three nations' newfound alliance. More of that swill you call wine? I suppose I could force myself to partake. Your king honors us with his generosity. We shall present these as offerings to the goddess of salt. The Hierophant, too, will no doubt be overjoyed. Lord Wolford, I bring a message from King Regna. He would have you join our guests on their return voyage to serve as their envoy. This is a great honor, my lord. You would represent our nation and speak with the king's voice. If it is his majesty's wish, it is a duty I will gladly accept. But there are two vessels and only one of me. Did King Regna say which of our honored guests I should accompany? He would leave that decision to you, Lord Wolford. Lord Falks, as representative of another of Glenbrook's high houses, will board the ship you do not. And why was House Tellior not given this honor? Last I knew, our kingdom had three high houses, not two. The mere fact that you whimper those words before us is answer enough. Good show at the tourney, Lord Serenoa. You truly are your father's son. The king has seen fit to leave this decision in your hands, and I shall not gainsay his wisdom. A lord must be worldly as well as wise. I trust you will conduct yourself as befits the lord of a high house. Thank you, Sir Maxwell, Lord Falks. The king has entrusted this decision to you, my lord. I suppose you have an idea as to why. He means to test my judgment. He is waiting to see which I choose and for what reason. Indeed. We are friendly with both nations now, so neither choice will earn his ire. That said, there is no telling how these relations may change going forward. No doubt, the choice you make will have an effect on our own house's relationship with the nation you choose. I understand. This requires careful consideration. Benedict, gather the others. I would hear their opinions on the matter. Then we shall consult the scales of conviction. 
At once, my lord. The Tavern. And the Sundry Shop. See what I can buy with my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallits. To the sundry shop, you can exchange your kudos for special wares here. House Wolf Fort's always treated me well. Uh, if there is aught I can do to repay your kindness, you only need to ask. Uh, you'll be able to promote units' units's classes here, too. Fear not, I'll let you know when one of your comrades is ready. At the sundry shop, you can exchange kudos for items and promote your allies. Every unit has a class, and each class is divided into ranks, Recruit, Veteran, and Elite. Promoting a unit will increase both their stats and maximum TP, and unlock new acquirable abilities. Raising a unit's class also changes their appearance in battle. Wow. You can only promote a unit's class if they are at or above the specified level, and you have the appropriate medal. Promoting a unit's class will consume the metal. Oh no. <sighs> Unfortunate. I want I want to um level her up as quickly as possible because she only has three TP and if she has uh, four TP then I I should oh wait why she only have two well I could cast more spells is how I wanted to to go about this So it looks like, from what I can see here, that that stuff is just going to increase. Well, it is disappointing that I can't see what that stuff is, but... Oh well. Some of these are not as drastic a uh, change. That's fine. One of them looks pretty cool. Like th this one looks pretty cool. All right, what else can I do with this? Kudos. Great Force operates not on coin, but kudos. These kudos uh, can be exchanged for all sorts of items, including uh, quietuses and medals. Quietuses. Um, I don't... I, quietuses? Our commands executed immediately in battle and differ from abilities in three key ways. They do not consume a turn. They consume... Quietus points, not TP. Each Quietus may only be used once per battle. Metals are used to promote units. They come in limited quantities, and new metals will be added as the store progresses.
early cheap. Uh, seems like I'm gonna need quite a bit of kudo. Hey, well, if it isn't Lord Saranoa, welcome to the Encampment Tavern. Wolfort's soldiers have a place to relax so long as I'm around, and I plan on sticking with you till the end. Perhaps you ought to consider dropping in for a drink and chat every so often too, my lord. You can engage in mental mock battles at the tavern. Each battle is different, so choose the one that best suits your aim. Mental mock battles. Why is it called a mental mock battle? Why can't, like, wouldn't they just be mock battles? Regardless, I kind of want to do these. Very interesting. Uh, okay. This is where I'm going to call it quits for today. Um, I believe chapter three is the end of... of, uh... the demo, so I guess we'll go as far as we can tomorrow. Maybe I'll do some mock battles and things like that. And, um... that would leave... Thursday? Maybe Thursday I'll take the day off since I'll probably be streaming this over the weekend as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, so far, you know, it's a it's a very story-heavy tactics game, which is certainly not necessarily strange, but the amount of emphasis it puts on the story is uh, certainly a little unorthodox. Uh, tactics games generally um don't delve so deep into the story and don't spend so much time on it. And so this is kind of a breath of fresh air in terms of how tactics games have normally operated. Um, I I do think that they've spent a lot of time on, on like politics and, and things like that in the beginning, which is certainly not how I would prefer to start off a, a tactics game. Um, but I'm following along, you know, I'm, I'm interested. It's, it's, it's not a negative for me. It's just a, an observation, I suppose. But anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow, um, 7 a.m. Pacific to continue for the rest of the demo. And uh, we will um, go on from there. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you next time I see you. Peace. At any rate, it's good to have you with us. No, it is not. He's a vampire. The pleasure is mine. See, the pleasure is his. He knows what he's doing. Ready? Go! Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, that guy. That guy just got destroyed.